Well, howdy. We're on Sweep Talk, and I'm here with an old friend of mine from Germany. We were competitors uh, back in the day, but uh, I worked for uh, Bennett. He worked for a company called Baco. But now that we semi-retired, we uh, just get together to uh, shoot the breeze, as we say over here, and uh, just talk about sweepers and cleaning machines and such. And uh, for those of you joining us for the first time, howdy and welcome. And uh, to my good friend Hans, from uh, all the way from Germany, I'd like to say a special welcome to you. And uh, thank you for, for, for making the trip and coming to see us over here. It's been, a, it's been too long. It's been a long time. And I uh, hope you're well. Guten Tag, Bob. It is, uh, it is good to see you again. I am quite excited to come and visit you. Hello. And uh, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that uh, people out there and our customers uh, don't want to uh, watch us carrying on and just John and John and John and shooting the breeze and they uh, want us to get into the sweeper chat. So let's let's do that, Hans. Let's get straight into it. Uh, what's news on your side of the world, Hans? The quite exciting, actually. Uh, I have a cousin, uh, Jack in the US and he now works for a company that is uh, now owned uh, by Baku. So is that right? Yeah, it is uh, It is uh, called the Bowel Boss. Uh, you have uh, uh, aware of this? I might have heard a rumor. Uh, it's quite interesting and I'm, I'm happy for Baku, I have to say, but we don't really see the Europeans as a threat. If you, uh, if I can say that without insulting you, I mean, you know, we, you guys have great, you know, paintings and culture and such, but you know, I think you will find that uh, the machines, your machines, are not quite as tough as the ones here in the U.S. And this Bauer boss might be okay, but I think they're going to find it a little bit hard to compete with. Uh, the products that, uh, that, like we make at, uh, at Ben Bannon, I mean, only the top of line components and such, way ahead of the industry. Really? Yeah. You're sure your equipment is good, yeah. Yeah, but uh, no doubt. But I do have maybe some questions about uh, why you do certain things. So if I think of uh, the way you build uh, the machines, um, may I ask you some questions to, to do with this? Of course. I mean, look, well, well, Ben, we've been around a long time. You were been around longer than anybody else in the industry. So we're always happy to share our experience and our knowledge with the, with the rest of the industry. I mean, we've been around since uh, 1871. Oh, wow. I did not know this. That is an exceptionally long time. Uh, you, have been, uh, you have been making sweepers and scrubbers since 1871? Well, no, not exactly. I mean, uh, the, comp the company's been around uh, since 1871. Oh, so, so what were you making in 1871? Oh, well, you know, uh, wooden products. What type of, of uh, wooden products? Well, uh, toilet seats. Seats for the toilet? So how does this uh, help to make a good sweeper? Uh, now, Hanks, this is not a helpful conversation. It's, uh, in fact, it's a little bit out of bounds, as we say over here. You know, uh, a little culturally inappropriate. So uh, let's, let's, let's move on, shall we, for the, uh, for, for the viewers. Oh, I apologize. I so, okay. We leave it then. I, okay, so we move. We move on. So, okay, we, so I move on. Okay, so, but I have the question about the N30. Hmm? Yeah? If I look at the sweeper of the scrubber sweeper, the N30, why do you have the powder coated uh, scrub deck on, on this machine? In uh, Back in Europe, we have uh, a lot of scrubbers from, from, from Barco and they all have either the stainless steel or they have the aluminium uh, scrub deck. And this is very good because 
for the chemical, for the water, the water it's it's uh, for do for uh, to last the long a long time. But when I look now at the N30, it has this powder coated. So with regard to the quality, why not on the N30? Well, and you have to understand the N30 is a big machine. That is a large scrubber. And it would be too expensive. It costs too much to uh, to make scrub deck that size out of stainless steel. So it might work in Europe. You got the small little machines, but for us, well, we do things a little differently in the U.S. And it's a sort of culturally arrogant, as they would say today, to think that we have to uh, do the same as you guys do. Um, just because that's the way you do it over there, we don't do like that in the U.S. Well, I do not mean to offend. I do not mean to offend, but Jeff at the bower boss he was uh, showing me a, a machine the bower boss mortilis machine now this is a larger machine than the n30 as you might know uh, and uh, the mortilis is made in the us and it has a stainless steel scrub deck the entire thing so I'm thinking maybe the N30 is built down uh, to a price and then the, the Barbos Nautilus is built up to a standard. Well, uh, I don't know about that, Hans. <laughs> I, I don't like your tone, to be honest. I, I, I don't like your tone. I'm, I'm getting a little bit riled up, as I say over here. A little bit riled up. And, uh, you don't want to get me riled up. So I don't need to tell that. I think we probably just best move on. Okay, okay. So we will not discuss this. But now, okay. So, um, what about the dashboard? The N30 has a, a touch uh, panel. It looks modern, yeah. Okay, yeah. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. The N30 has this, uh, this electronic panel, and uh, it's a touch panel. And this is the most advanced in the world. Bar none. You press one button, all features switch on. Press the same button, all features switch off. I mean, that is technology. Made in the US of A. I see, yeah. This is good. Advanced? Hmm? But, but I do have... One question. Sure. The Balbos Mortilus, it has the same function. So the one touch, everything is happening. The one touch, everything is finished. But it it is this a, a rocker switch. So, uh, so, so uh, a rocker switch and not the touch panel. Yeah. Well, it is impressive that they got the uh, one-touch operation with the uh, with a rocker switch. I I'll grant you that. I'll grant you that. But uh, it must look a little old-fashioned. No, no offense. Yeah, it uh, it does not it does not look as smooth as the the N30. Yeah, but my question is, what does the the N30 panel cost if it uh, if it fails or, or wears. I mean, the the rocker switches on the the Mortilus or maybe I so thirty maybe fifty euro. Well, hence you have to realize it's a top of the range technology, and uh, so it's not going to be as cheap. But how much? Well, it's about about two thousand dollars. Ach, near ja? Yeah, but you have to pay for this type of thing. Yeah, but look how smooth the dash is. You can't beat that with these ugly rocker switches. But no advantage when op operating and high cost to fix. My hands again. <laughs> you getting me all riled up. Just trying to yank my chain. You have to be culturally culturally sensitive. 
Don't want to be offensive or move. Uh, no, sir. Not liking your tone, not one bit. Move along now. Okay, okay, it's Bob, so calm. You must remain so calm. Uh, let me ask you now, what is the new and exciting thing at Bennett? Well, we have the new uh, 16S sweeper. Yeah, I did, I did see this. You have? Well, and I think you'll agree, it is a beautiful machine. What a radical new design. And it looks like nothing out there. Oh, yeah, 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 nice. No, it's, it's a, a nice looking sweeper. But does it not look similar to the Barco sweeper, the 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 1300? Um, yeah, look, he's very look. It is very similar. Yeah, have a look, like a copy. Hmm. Hands, come on, come on, hands. <laughs> you don't look anything alike. I mean. Look, it's uh, different colors. Come on, it's a uh, completely different colors. Knock off, Baker. Come on, <laughs> I never knew the Germans had a sense of humor. Anyway, that's all the time we got today, folks. And uh, I want to thank uh, Hans for coming through. And uh, it's great to see you again, even though you were trying to rail my cage. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for the chat. I will tell Jack, uh, my cousin, uh, to to uh, come and visit you. I actually have another cousin. Okay, he, here in the US. Yeah, so, but he is like the, the black sheep of the family. He went to, to work for a competitor. Um, what's his name? Maybe I know him. I forget now, but maybe Schillingstadt or some such, but we do not we do not mention him anymore. Fair enough. Every family's got one of those. Well, been an interesting chat, and I uh, look forward to chatting again sometime. And uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Bob from Bennett. This is Hans from uh, Backhoe. Yeah, danke, Bob. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you and goodbye for now.